Hey guys, welcome to the 23rd Autodesk Inventor tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at work planes and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to have a plane offset from your beginning sketch. So basically I'm just going to show you how to have a sketch like out here in space and it's a little bit different than you may think. You can't just go up here and select offset from plane and then select your sketch. It won't let you do that. You have to actually select an existing plane first. So to do that, we're going to have to go over here and go into this origin folder. And inside of this origin folder are all of our base planes and axes. So inside of here we have the YZ plane, the XZ plane, and the XY plane. And basically what this X and Y mean is it includes the X and Y axis. So obviously X is across and Y is up. And then over here we have the X, Y, and Z axis, and of course the center point. And we're actually not going to worry about this right now we're just going to be looking at these planes so basically if we wanted to have a plane offset from our sketch right here we would have to make a plane offset from the XY plane since every time that you draw your first sketch it's on the XY plane so to do that just go up to where it says plane right here select offset from plane and then go over and select the XY plane and then as soon as we click there we see that it's just like always we can just go ahead and type in how far um, offset we want that plane to be so if we want it out this way we'll make it positive if we, if we want it this way we'll make it negative so I'm gonna make it 0.5 out so it'll come out this way and then just go ahead and click the green check mark to confirm and as soon as I do that we see that there is now a plane um, a half inch offset from our uh, original sketch right there and you could do this with any plane so if you wanted to have a plane offset from the XZ plane you could do that as well and the XZ plane is just like flat across, like a floor. So if we were to do that, we just go up to where it says plane right there, uh, offset from plane, select the XZ plane, and I'll make it down, so I'll make it negative 0.5, so it's a half inch down from the center point right there. And as soon as I rotate, you see that, yep, there just created a plane that is a half inch offset from the center point right there. All right, so that's pretty much all there is for that. The next thing that I'm going to do is show you how to have a plane parallel to another plane and it includes a specified point. So I'm just going to go over to my other part here and let's say I wanted to have a plane that is parallel to this plane and it includes the center point of this circle. So what I do is I go over here to where it says plane and just select parallel to plane through point. So the first thing that it wants me to do is basically select a plane that it will be parallel to. So for us that's just uh, this right here, so this plane and the next thing that it wants me to do is basically select a point to include and for me that's just going to be the center point of this um, circle right here so I'm just going to go ahead and select that center point right there and now we see that it created that plane so now this plane is perfectly parallel to this plane right there and it includes the center point of this circle so if I were to just rotate it right there we see that that point is perfectly on that plane and you can do this with any plane so let's say you wanted it to be um, parallel to this plane right there and it includes this point as well so we just go over to plane parallel to plane through point select our plane first then select our point and now we see that that plane right there is perfectly parallel to this plane right there and it includes the center point of this circle so let me just rotate it there and we see that yep the center point of that circle is perfectly on that plane alright so that's pretty much all there is to that plane tool the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is have a midplane between two parallel planes. And basically what that means is if I were to select two parallel planes, so this side and this side over here, there would just be a plane that is perfectly in between the two planes, so right down the center of this uh, rectangle right there. So I just go up to plane, select midplane between two parallel planes, and it basically just wants me to select two planes that are parallel. So I'm going to select this plane right there and select this plane over there and as soon as I do so we see that it just created a plane that is perfectly in between those two planes so it's equal distance from here to here and from here to here and you can do that with any two parallel planes but remember the two planes that you select must be parallel so you can't have like this plane and this plane since they're not parallel so let's just do two other planes right here so I guess we'll do the top and the bottom so we just go over to plane uh, mid plane between two parallel planes select this top plane up there and select the bottom of our rectangle and as you can see it just created a plane that is perfectly um, in the center 
of these two planes right there so the top and the bottom plane alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys